floor dancing. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, all right? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down! I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. All right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but... Uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? I don't know. Just say something like, I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? Okay. A palace is a reflection of how its owner views the real world. So if Madarame's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. And all jokes aside, we really will need Lady On to strip for Yusuke. It's the only way. So it's you. You did use this line now that I think about it. Anyhow, what's with this sudden change in attitude? I was contacted by Takamaki-san last night. She's accepted the nude modeling proposition. That's nice, of course, but I hope you aren't conspiring anything. Do not make a mockery of art. Don't judge us by your worldly standards. I'll call the police if you try anything. Remember that.
<clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. Wait. If you wander around, Sensei will... Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey, why not this one? Please wait! I'm counting on you, Mona. Are they seriously going to be able to pull this off? She was saying stuff like, I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Matarame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's he gonna show it to Matarame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? I want to think that too, but it's almost time. Please, uh, can you just wait and... What's past here? That's... So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. I keep telling you, you can't. You're still not done? It's hard to do this with cat paws. Uh, is something the matter? Oh, um... So, what is this room? It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage? Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. I want to be alone with you. Somewhere, like, quiet. <laughs> you know, where we won't get interrupted. Is he really going to buy that terrible act? Stay focused. Hmm? Oh, it's just so frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Kitagawa-kun, do you not like girls like me? No, th that's not true. How is that working on him? Please, we can continue this inside. Sh sure. I mean, no, we can't go in there. Uh, it's locked anyway, so... Fine, this is too embarrassing. I'm leaving. But... Let's just do it in here, okay? What do I do? I'm home. S sensei Yusuke? All right, it's open. Huh? What are you doing there? It's... it's not what it looks like. Huh? Not in there! Uh, nothing's happening. I wonder what's... Hmm? It's off! They seriously did it! Oh, right. These could come back on at any second. Let's go! All right! Sorry. They got past the security system? You cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory.
guys ain't got nothing on us. I'm more scared of screwing up and having on yell at me. Let's go. Kamaki-san. Are these the lights? <gasps> what the... Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. But why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing, well, they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations, I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. 
Hold on, something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. So you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Mm, this sounds like a lie to me. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On, this one seems different. Sayuri. This... This is the real Sayuri. But you just said a moment ago that it was stolen. That's a replica. No, it's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei, don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. Talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady On, let's run! A cat? Where did it... There's no point. They'll be here within two minutes. Takamaki-san! Yeah, let's go! I can feel it. Come on, man. Hey, look! All right! Whoa! All right! I hope those two manage to get away. You two are... I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. What is this place? We're inside Matarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki-san. But are you sure you're feeling okay? She ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. He's nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Matarame? <sighs> That's... Uh... You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Matarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of Ron Crooks. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. Still, he has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... 
Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once! <sighs> no, it's all right. We need to get out of here. That said, we have an amateur with us now. Let's try to avoid fighting as much as possible. It's somewhere. So this is inside of Sensei's heart? A vain museum such as this? This painting! Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But... Why are there paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the pupils themselves. Madarame saw them as objects, so that's what they are in here. Oh, and, uh... We found yours, too. <sighs> we'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. Bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That attire? Disgusting. This... This is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. <laughs> How naive! If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei. Please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that! No. The value of art is purely illusion. What's the matter with providing that illusion to eager customers? Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum! You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame! You help me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> to think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness of my heart, thieves. How amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? 
Kitagawa-kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolish that you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable imitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. Let us now forge a contract. I am thou, thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It is time you teach people which is to which. Very well. Come. Go am on! A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish! Whoa, this is impressive! <laughs> Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be death! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice! Very well, bring it on! Presence of Lord Marame! On your knees, intruders! I learned much from you, Marame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. This is my other self! Goemon, stretch! Go, are you okay? Persona! Watch your health! Okay, 
you've just thrown your bright future down the drain. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. Matarame! You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me! Get back here! Kitagawa-kun! Why can't I move? Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father, but he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I have been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame's gone and changed. But, we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh crap! We'll talk later. We need to scram! When did my clothes change? You just noticed that now? Save it for after! Let's go! I see. And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. The phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. No, I believe you. There's no need for common sense to blind me after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame, Sensei? With Madarame is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join, as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this, for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun? It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. You better not slow us down. I'll do my best. Uh, so that was all a plan. 
Well, that's quite daring, Takamaki-san. It wasn't my idea. It was theirs. What else were we supposed to do? It's his fault for going on and on about the nude modeling thing. I haven't given up on that yet, though. Give it up! Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Matarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? We'll have to force a change of heart before then, if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. But it's talking. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh! I didn't bring any money. Never mind. He's just weird. Hey! No, no, no! We just need to change his heart before he presses charges. Try to focus on that problem for now. Make sure you close up.